Hello doers and welcome back. In some cases, we don't have enough components on hand to produce all of the items listed in a manufacturing order. And when that happens, Odo allows us to create a back order for the remaining products so that we know they still need to be manufactured. Now when manufacturing an item uses the three-step manufacturing process, we can create back orders at each step of the process. Picking, manufacturing, and transferring. I'm glad that's all three. Now since Odo integrates operations across its apps, Back orders are easily created and tracked throughout the platform. Now in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how back orders can help us get back on track with manufacturing demands and inventory levels. So, enough chit chat, let's jump right into our Odoo database. So before following this flow, make sure that multi-step routes is activated in your inventory settings. And three-step manufacturing is selected for your warehouse. For more details on this, check out the tutorial on manufacturing in two and three steps, which I'm going to link below. Now, while we don't need to have three-step manufacturing selected, since Odoo is going to create back orders for one or two-step manufacturing, we are going to use it as an example since it's the most complicated manufacturing workflow. So here we are on the main dashboard. Now, today, let's check out what we'll be manufacturing. And that's our best-selling product, which happens to be a tambourine. So go to Manufacturing, Products, and Products, select that tambourine, and go into the Bill of Materials real quick. All right, so as you can tell, this instrument is made up of one frame, six dowels, and 12 zills. What is a zill, you may be asking yourselves? It's those small little metal discs that make it go jingle jangle. <laughs> All right, now let's create an MO. So we're going to go up here to uh, Operations, Manufacturing Orders, and select New. We're going to select that tambourine right there, and keep an eye on that to consume column, because we're going to be making two of these bad boys today. And would you look at that? Once we added a quantity of two, a red graph icon appears over here in the to consume field, letting us know we don't have enough of those components. But what happens when we confirm this? Well, even further than that, our component status tells us it's not available. And if you divert your eyes over here to the reserved column, it happens to say not available as well. Further confirming that we don't have all the products needed to complete the full MO. A smart button also appears for two transfers up here. Now you'll notice there are two of them. One of them happens to be for picking over here, and the other one is for the transfer of the assembled tambourines back into the stock. Let's take a look at that picking transfer first. Okay, now this is where all the magic happens. Now since we don't have all the components available to produce two tambourines, Odoo reserves enough of each to produce just one as you could tell over here. Let's go ahead and validate this, and then apply this over here. Oh, and would you look at that? What's that magic? As you probably guessed, Odoo already knows that we picked fewer components than we needed for the full MO. To address this, a pop-up has appeared that tells us we need to create a back order if we want to. Now this splits the picking operation and lets me pick only the components that I do have on hand. So we're gonna select create order over here. Boom. Now this transfer is now marked as done up here in the top right corner. Let's go back to the MO via the breadcrumbs, which today is Wonder Bread because you're all wonderful every time. And now we see that there are two transfers that we have, or sorry, three, small dupsy. it went up by one. Now that's because Odoo created a new picking operation for the remaining components that we don't have on hand yet, as you can tell right there with the new waiting one before the one that we just finished. That's pretty cool, right? But we're going to come back to that later. So here we are back on the manufacturing order. We've picked enough components to manufacture one tambourine, but we still don't have the quantity needed for both, as you can tell with our not available still there. So what we can do is change the quantity on this MO so that we only manufacture one tambourine by changing it over here to one. All right, and now that we're done, we'll click on validate up here. Now once again, we are prompted to create a back order for the remaining tambourine that we need to manufacture. So we're gonna do that once again. Now we have a smart button over here for two back orders. One that is actually done and completed and one that is awaiting components. So it's just confirmed right now and it's telling us it's not available. So let's check our transfers again by clicking on the breadcrumbs for the second demo and then selecting the transfer smart button again. So we're gonna select that and select our transfers. Now inside of here, we can actually see that the transfer from post-production to our stock is actually ready down there. Why? Since we successfully manufactured one of our tambourines, we can transfer the finished product to storage. So we're gonna select this last one right here. And when we validate and apply this, once again, we get another back order message since only one of our tambourines is manufactured and ready to be stored. So we're going to go ahead and create a back order with that one, which will once again create another back order for the remaining tambourine. All right. So right now at this point, I want us to go back over here to the, well, back over to our MO. And then we're going to go back over to our transfers. 
Now you'll notice we have a new one that says waiting for another operation. All right, up to this point, we finished the entire manufacturing flow for one tambourine. We've picked the components, assembled the instrument, and marked the manufacturing order as done. And we've transferred the product back to our stock. All that's left to do is complete the same flow for the second one. However, we still don't have enough components, so we're going to need to order more. So to do that, we actually have to go out of here and go inside of our inventory application over here. And then we're going to select Operations Replenishment. This is where the really cool thing happens. Now, since I have a vendor designated on the components product forms, and the system knows that I need one more frame, six more dowels, and 12 more zills to make the remaining tambourine, Odoo actually shows me what I need for each of these components. And I could do it all at once. And isn't that fabulous? All I have to do is click on order once for each component, which will start to create that purchase order for me. Look at that. Boom. We're all done right there. And what's really neat is that Odoo only creates a single purchase order for all three components since we buy them from the same vendor. All right, sweet. Let's go check out our purchase order. So we're going to go out of here. And where are we going, Odooers? Well, we just purchased a bunch of stuff. So we're going into the purchase app and we're going to go into our latest one over here. Now we're going to confirm the order and I'm going to pretend that I see everything inside of our warehouse. So we're going to basically we're going to receive the products and apply this validating it and applying. Boom, we're all done. Awesome. Now when we go out of here and back inside of manufacturing to our work order over here, our manufacturing order, sorry, Odooers, we'll actually see that the component status is now available. And if I click on the transfer smart button, what does it say as well, Odooers? That first one that we were waiting on is now ready since we have the components on hand. So we're going to go in there. And now we're going to validate the pick. We're going to apply this. With the components picked, we can actually complete the manufacturing order. So we're going to go back into that manufacturing order over here. We're going to mark as done. We're going to apply this. And we're all done at this point. Would you look at that, oh doers? And when I click on, at this point, our transfers, look at that. It's already ready. Now we can validate this and apply this as well because we've made everything. And finally, when we go look at our tambourines product page, what does it say, oh doers? says we have two units right there. And that's it for this video. Today we learned how to use back orders throughout the entire three-step manufacturing process. Now we can move forward with any manufacturing orders that are partially ready. Even if we can't manufacture all the products at once. Thanks for watching. Grab a snack. This one was complicated, so probably grab a full dinner.